All right, atmospheric conditions are pretty bad right now. It's the sun's just going down. Uh, later, later tonight, the CHU Canada will come in really good. The guys up on uh, on 75 meters will will be on. And uh, here's what I, I actually ended up doing. I don't know. Let's see if we can show on the frame here. 3.33 uh, megahertz. I used a 2 megahertz crystal, so that would become 5.33. Still within the range of my Franklin oscillator. Now, when you go up higher in frequency to 75 mega megahertz, 75 meters, uh, 3.885 plus 2 megahertz becomes 5.88. It goes in the right direction. As the frequency goes up, you'll need more um, on the second uh, mixer. The frequency has to go up also instead of down. So by changing the crystal from a 6 megahertz uh, in the first mixer, I changed it to a 2. And everything works now. The, uh, the 75 meter guys, they're working. Uh, but the conditions are really bad. And I want to tell you, it's very hard for me to get the radios, any radio in this room to work correctly when my computer is on. Okay? My computer is the dirtiest bird there is. But I just want to tell you, that's the fix. In other words, your your first mixer, instead of using a six megahertz crystal, you use a two, and you add the frequency you want to receive to that, and that that puts out the first um, uh, IF frequency, all right? Which would be uh, in the case of uh, CHU Canada, uh, three point three three megahertz would become five point three three. And that's the intermediate frequency. And then you you uh, offset it for 455, uh, and it would be 5.785, okay? And then you, then you subtract uh, 3.33 from um, 5.785, and you get the offset, okay? Uh, you want it. You want your final IF to be 4.5 because it's cheaper to buy the crystals. It's easier to make a BFO. That's why a lot of people still use 455. You can use any IF frequency that you want. You don't have to use 455. But there's so many things. There's, there's old mechanical filters that you could buy. There's all kinds of things you can do with 455 cheaply. Okay. And we turn this back on. Oh, I just, I just love all the hands. Uh, let's go. Let's go to 75 meters. The guy was on before. I come over here, and uh, I have to readjust the input uh, amplifier. It's a classic though, whenever you're trying to... Yeah, conditions are really bad tonight. But I just want to tell you, I did solve it. I'm, I'm hoping for a good night's sleep tonight. Because uh, I, I really got upset yesterday when I realized that um, I made a, a fatal error in the design. But like I said, I was copying a different design where they worked around it by they were able to re, recalibrate a, a piece of wood for whatever frequency. Where I'm stuck using, you know, um, an eBay frequency counter. And the frequency counter, uh, it wants, it, you can't do inverses. Okay, and I want to look in to see if anybody... Uh, had, had such a, a device. Of course, it's going to need a microprocessor in there. Now, there is a, a cheesy micro in this thing. All right. But just want to tell you, got it basically solved. I might I might buy a, a, a better crystal. Uh, not a better, but a small one. See back here, this giant 2 megahertz crystal. Uh, I might, get, might buy a couple uh, twos instead of it. That's, this is old school. Uh, even the modern ones, they don't even look like this anymore. They're only they're half the size. Yeah, everything everything's getting smaller, 
more compact. I think that's it. All right, that's it.